morning-ish, and welcome to Brian Rashid Global. Very, very special guest today. A guy that I've been actually following for a couple of years. He's a superstar in the real estate world. He has this sick mastermind event. He's doing a podcast, doing a book. He's social media king. He's all over the place. He's awesome. Raul Velasquez. Dude, I'm it's super so stoked that you're here. Um, thank you for coming by. We're gonna talk about your podcast, we're gonna talk about your book, we're gonna talk about the next level experience. And for those of you that are watching on the social worlds. Got a bunch of cameras here, we got some live feeds somewhere here, so. We have a very special guest. Not that you're not a special guest, because you are, but we have well, an even more special guest. Yeah. Than we're gonna leave it for the end. We're gonna, we're gonna, surprise, we're gonna surprise you guys about the but special, let's just say, special guest. Let's just say, it's a young man that is way, and I mean way ahead of his time. So, yeah. uh, before we jump into that part of it, me and you have to talk, I guess. That's Can we just get to him already? No, okay. <laughs> so, I'm super excited to have you here. Tell us for the audience that doesn't know who you are, a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your story, and kind of what you do. All right, so uh, I've been an entrepreneur for the past 18 years. Uh, and for me, uh, a journey in entrepreneurship has been probably the most difficult one. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I feel like, can I just be normal? Can I just be a normal guy? And, yeah. and if you're an entrepreneur, if you listen to this, just realize one thing, you are not normal. Right. You're not normal. So so being an entrepreneur for 18 years, I've seen patterns. I've seen patterns in my own life. I've seen patterns in clients. And the pattern that I fell into was the pattern of not being satisfied of building a successful business. And yeah. about, about, let's say, seven years ago when the market crashed, yeah. Uh, you will think that that's when I kind of lost what I, what I call the edge, but no, in the contrary, when the market crashed, I got a little bit more fire under my belt of saying, hey man, I'm gonna, I wanna figure it out a way to get out of this situation. This is not gonna be the end, it's gonna be the beginning of, of my story. But something happened two, three years afterwards that I was feeling unsatisfied. So even though I built a, a real estate business, even though I built, a, I rebuilt my real estate portfolio and a real estate business, I found myself that I wasn't satisfied with life. I actually started getting sick. I actually had some physical pains and I thought I had cancer, I thought I was gonna die. I went to different specialists and they all told me it's all in your head. And <laughs> There's how long nothing was this? wrong with that with you. How long ago? This was uh, this was probably in 2010. Okay. 2010, so between 2010 and 2011. That I went through a transition of feeling like, you know, am I living my purpose? Uh, is this is this all I'm here for, making money and, and, and building a business? And I kind of went through a, a crisis, if you call it, and, and, I, and I look at the, that expansion of my personal life as the moment that I lost my edge. I lost my edge because I, I had an identity of being a businessman, and when everything, everything that you have is based on just building a business, and, and you realize, you look at yourself in the mirror, it's like, who am I? What might really beat down? And that's when I went to the journey. And I spent half a million dollars in personal development, half a million dollars traveling the world, trying to find out how do I get the edge back? How do I get that passion, that purpose that I had at the beginning of building my business, yeah. now, 10 years after building my business. So, so when people come to the Next Level Experience, what are the kinds of things that you're teaching them how to do to get that edge back? I saw that you have the, the edge bracelet and you were explaining that's kind of like the male, ver that male program called right. the Next Level Experience. What kinds of stuff do you teach? So we have a custom experience. So right. before they come to the event, we actually uh, have a 30 day kind of discovery yeah. of who they are, what they want to accomplish, and what they are, what are their fears. So every experience is different. So one of the, the things that I'm an expert in is actually I'm able to see what you want yeah. and how to get you for, uh, closer to what you want by discovering what you're afraid of. So every single event is different because we actually do a, a really good job in discovering. No, because people will tell you what they want, but that's not really what they want. Yeah. You know, so it's like a superfic superficial answer to what do you want. Like, oh, right, so I want more money. Okay. Yeah. What are you gonna do with the money? So yeah. you start really digging deep on what they really want, and everybody wants to just matter. They want to matter. They want to like have a purpose. So why is it that you believe that you don't matter? Why is it that you believe that you have a purpose? So we dig deep to see the subconscious beliefs that you truly have. What do you think, what do you find, and I know everyone, everyone's different, but are there a few common themes around the fear that people have? Yeah. Where are they? Yeah. So the, the main common theme, and every entrepreneur has this pattern, which is we believe that we're not enough. We don't have enough, we're not handsome enough, we're not rich enough, we're not young enough. That common belief that we're not enough, and, and one of the things I realize is that for our minds, we are never going to be enough. 
is impossible because our minds were not created for us to have uh, happiness or have fulfillment. Our minds were created for us to survive. Yep. So we're bringing this, this computer that is two million years old to this world right now that we have all these things. Just imagine, like we have right now at our fingertips this phone that brings us more knowledge, more information than anything in the last 10 years we have ever had. Yeah. And yet we still don't know enough or don't feel that we know enough. So that's what I'm teaching the mind code. So that's that what, one, that thing one thing that is uh, a way for you to reprogram, reinvent, or recondition yourself. So you can go to the next level. Cool. So um, awesome. Can we get into some questions? Cool. Let's go. So this question came in for you from Deb who lives in Missouri. She says, ever since I can remember, I've always wanted to write a book about my childhood, teenage years into adult, illustrating obstacles that I've overcome such as being given up at birth, foster care adoption, being placed in behavioral health facilities, not returning to my family, blah, 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 blah. A lot of things that she's got going on in her life. Um, and she's been working on her book for the last five years. And she keeps finding herself going in circles, she says. Um, she wants to focus it on adolescents and young adults who are or have gone through similar situations, foster care, get, be, get, being given, abandoned, etc. cetera. Um, I want to get this thing done, but I just don't know how to push through to get this thing finished. What should I do? How do I have my marriage? I'll tell, you, I'll tell you right now, I, mean, I was in the same situation. I was talking about a book, my own personal book for the past couple of years, and one of the things I realized is that we complicate our, we complicate the tasks because the fear of, of thinking that maybe our story doesn't matter. And as I'm writing this book, and I tell you right now, Deborah, if you listen to this, it's like, if you have in your heart to put your message out there, even if one person reads it, even if you go through all this, this thing just for one person to read it, that is enough. So one of the things that I, that I do on why my videos are, are being watched by millions of people, especially my Facebook ads, when I get guys who apply and then my, my program, it's, it's, it's one, of the, one of the most expensive coaching programs out there and guys are watching my videos and they're saying, okay, I, I don't know you, but I know you're speaking with me. Same thing with the book is don't write it for somebody else. Write it as if you, Deborah, the person that is going to read it, is gonna be touched by it. All my videos, when I do content videos and, and I'm going you know, straight for the guy to do something that I want him to, to do, is I'm speaking to the old Raul. So Deborah, if, if, if you believe that you know, maybe you know, you, the universe of God put in your mind and your heart to do this, it might not even be for, for somebody else except for the old Deborah that needs healing that needs just this part of your life to just put a closure to it. Because it sounds to me that you went through a lot of trauma, a lot of, a lot of hard things that I wouldn't wish on anybody. This is a healing part. Don't do it because, if anybody else, do it because that's part of who you're gonna be. I just read an article that came up on my Twitter feed. I am a smart, attractive woman, but life went a bit off the rails, and now I find myself with one euro in my pocket. I plan to not fall homeless or go without food. With no education or security, I want to invest this one dollar and build my, to build my first million. I want to tell you because I want to make it happen, and this seems like a, a great starting block to announce it. Any tips on how I can turn my one million dollar investment into more money would be greatly welcome. Got it. So here's you know I'm, I'm, one I'm, euro. Yeah, and, so and like, I think that that, that that is where we made uh, we make a mistake of of thinking that you know to make that one million is going to take a dollar. Uh, and I tell people, what's her name? Helen? Her name's Helen. Helen, it's gonna take everything you, you have. It's gonna take everything you have. I mean, and then this one dollar you have, is gonna take, if you have 10,000, it's gonna take everything you have. And I think that a lot of people, we, we mistake, you know, we see people that are successful, they sacrifice pretty much almost everything. And your story is that story of, of sacrifice. What I suggest is you find a job, you find a way that you know you create. Make don't think about the million million euros. Think about how can I how can I make it to ten dollars or ten euros? Because if you can't make that one dollar to ten dollars, then you can never make that one dollar to a million. You know, I heard the other day somebody say that passion, uh, passion without a, a, a strategy, you will die. If you don't have a strategy that is practical. You know, and I'm, I'm a testimony of that. I lost $300,000 my first year, pure passion. I was passionate about helping people. I was passionate about putting an event. I was here, I am taking people to the next level, but I was losing money every single event until my partners realized, they're wrong, we can't fund this. You know, we can't fund your passion project. And said, but I'm changing people's lives. You don't understand, people are, are, are better because they came to my event. But that wasn't practical. And, 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 you know, sometimes we make so a mistake true. that, you know, God gives you a dollar, God gives you $100,000, 
like go back and invest in the most precious asset that you have which is you that's you like there's never gonna be a more valuable person in your life than you and I think that's what a lot of us take that for granted that let me buy the, the new strategy no best in you you, know, you need to get the mindset you need to have that energy you need to have the determination to execute otherwise you, you live in this machine and, and your body that is like nobody can duplicate you so you can buy cars you can buy houses but they can never duplicate you that's great all right so Raul this has been awesome I, I want to I actually want to keep you up here and I want to bring up a very special guest um, someone that I've been watching for about a year now and someone who I have immense respect for, um, which is your son. Yeah, so let me kind of frame a little bit yeah. in, in, to the audience. Like, one of the reasons that um, I put my stuff out there and one of the reasons that I, my, my goal is to, to inspire people to go to the next level is because I, I want my son to see what's possible. Like, you know, my game in this, I mean, I, I could live in a basement. I could live like with, with, with uh, Oreos or some Doritos and some water. I don't need any fancy things in life. Yeah. What I'm building is, is a legacy for my kids to see because if I could show my kids what's possible and we could actually have this documented and that's what for me, Facebook and social media yeah. is doing is actually helping me document my life and the growth and to see like it makes it, it puts me in more integrity because if I'm saying something to you, then it makes me feel like oh, I need to I need to make sure that I'm doing it because otherwise, you know, I'm not in integrity. So if if nothing else, whatever you do as an entrepreneur, just make sure that you can share that with your kids. That's why you know I I, I when I have a chance, I bring my son to work. When I have a chance, like my my son is like my number one fan and I'm his number one fan, and that is for me the ultimate legacy. So with that said, let's call him up. Alejandro, come on up, brother. Alejandro. You get a clap on everything here. You get a standing ovation. Yeah, you get a yeah, okay. awesome. So, Alejandro, say hello. Hey, guys, how you doing? He's a natural, he's a natural. So, Alejandro, tell us, how old are you? Uh, I'm 11 years old. 11 years old, and what is the thing in your life right now that you're most excited about? The most excited thing that I'm about uh, excited about is that I'm um, creating a summer camp called All in Kids uh, Camp. We're not sure about the uh, title. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach the value of being an entrepreneur with games, of course, because there's gonna be kids. And one of the most things that I want to share with people is is that uh, kids can become entrepreneurs too, but you don't know the way that it's possible for the kids because a lot of people underestimate the kids but the kids have the most creativity part of them they could they they don't think the way other people do they think in a different way you don't think like adults we're already in condition yeah. i mean like i just blows my mind like when when i watch kids like you know he follows certain kids and they create it behind it and this you yeah. know you, when you guys do the videos it's a complete different game yeah so i was one of the things that i wanted to like tell you guys is that like with my videos, I always did it, and I was like, I see my dad's like, whoa, that's like not on my level. I don't even know how to do those things. Mm. But I'll, and then my dad told me, it's like you have to start somewhere. Like, even though it might not be good, and even though you might mess up a little bit, it's okay because you have to start somewhere. If you start somewhere, then you'll get somewhere. If you don't start, you'll just be stuck in a loop. You won't get anywhere. That's you have to fire start content somewhere. Right there, really. What else you want to share with the community before we wrap? I just, you know, you know. Um, going after what Alejandro said, which is that your your kids are watching. Mm -hmm. Like your kids are watching. You may not think that they're watching you, and you think that you know they're just some little kids that they you know just here's a dollar or like you know go play. They're watching you. Uh, and what I'm learning now from my son is that every decision that I make has consequences in the long term of my son's development. So it doesn't matter what you teach your kids, doesn't matter what you're saying, and what matters is how do you live your life? Yeah. Is your life a reflection of what you want your kids? I mean, that's one of the reasons that I'm so obsessed of doing what I do is because I want my kids to see what's possible. And I make mistakes, I, I, I own my mistakes. I mean, I told many times of the mistakes that I've made, and just having that relationship that your kids know the real you, and they know the struggles that you're going through, like we don't hide anything from our kids. It's really beautiful to, to see you guys interact and to watch, and I'm looking forward to, to following you now, and to continue to follow you, and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome, my man, awesome. Guys, thanks for watching, it's your hour, it's your life, it's your dreams, so go get it, because if you don't, nobody else will. Thanks for watching.